Hello people of God, good morning, how are you all doing? Heavenly Father, I thank you that you are before this word. I thank you that these words will reach your people, God. I thank you, God, that this word would fall on the seeds, God, that needs to receive this word into their hearts. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. This is the prophetic word from yesterday. And these are affairs of the heart. Things that are in our heart that defiles you things that you know but yet is you're not paying attention to it in recognizing what it is doing to you how it is preventing you from obtaining what God has for you and this could be what you prayed and asked God for or a prophetic word that God that someone gave you that God gave you yesterday God revealed to me through vision of revelation of a new car this car was white in color. The documents of the car had that person's name on it. Everything was prepared regarding to paperwork, documents for the car. But as this person sat into the new car that was given to them, they didn't know they were not equipped with the knowledge and the wisdom to drive this car and in the revelation God revealed to me that this person was looking around the car trying to figure out how to drive this car then a few moments ago, he gave me another revelation in prayer of, I don't know if it's another person or it was the same person, but he just continued revealing to me more of what he was showing me yesterday. But today, as this person was in the car, their behavior was of a teenager a 16 year old teenager that is anxious for this new car anxious that all of the documents were taken care of and just wanted to know how to drive the car so that they could do what they want to do and I saw through revelation in that vision a few moments ago in prayer that Jesus Christ was sitting in the passenger seat while this 16 year old person was anxiously looking around the car wanting to know how to start the car and Jesus Christ was the instructor he was there sitting in the passenger seat just watching this anxious 16 year old because here are they or here are you not knowing how to drive the prophetic word not knowing how to get to what you ask God for but Jesus Christ is sitting right in the passenger seat just waiting 
for you to humble yourself and to recognize his presence and to ask him because what what God revealed to me Jesus Christ was the instructor waiting for you to ask him to instruct you to guide you for wisdom for strength for all that you need which would defile you or which defiles you sorry from his private from his presence and the vision of revelation went onward and many of you struggle with anxiety fear lustful desires but i sought to to a certain um extent of the revelation through vision that god revealed to me yes and it appeared that you gave jesus christ the instructor some room to teach you how to drive and god was revealing to me the scene of someone that has not obtained their driver's licenses yet so they were in the testing phase of driving that new car and there were like barricades that Jesus Christ was so as you gave him room he gave you instructions of what you should do to overcome it because you are heading with Jesus Christ to the direction of what you prayed for to the direction of your prophetic word so as you gave him room and as you submitted yourself and as you humbled yourself he began speaking but it looked like as he was as Jesus Christ was teaching you and you be and and what is in your heart that defiled you from his presence when it came up when your fear came up through your mouth when your anxiety came up through your mouth when your lustful desire came up through your mouth you may say what do you mean through my mouth um someone of lustful desire which is in their heart that defiles them of the presence of, 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 of Jesus. But they would say, I can't take this anymore. I, 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 just, I just need to take the edge off. It, it is just so overwhelming. And I saw as these things that defiled you from the presence of God, not only speaking about lustful desires, but also fear and anxiety, and whatever else you struggle with but those are the examples that 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 came forth i saw jesus christ which is the instructor was channeling out so his presence was disappearing so as your lustful desires came up he couldn't teach you anymore so he began to disappear as your fear came up he couldn't teach you anymore because you, what what defiled you was was he was allowing his presence to disappear from you and that is what god revealed to me through visions that these things are things of the heart that defiles you from going into your new destination these things are preventing you from obtaining which is yours remember God said that that the prophetical word is sure what he has over your name is sure and for that reason Jesus Christ 
is the instructor and he is there guiding you along the way with what you are carrying with what belongs to you but what is in your heart is what is defiling you because it comes out of your mouth eventually when the tension of whatever you are experiencing you are allowing it to overtake you just like Peter when he took his eyes off of Jesus Christ he began sinking but this is a matter of seeking God for what you need because it's not about the prophetical word it's about what you need in order for Jesus Christ to stay with you because once his presence disappears or is disappearing with what defiles you you are going to give room to that thing that defiled you and what defiled you will lead you into Satan's grounds and it would cause you to fall short in any way and that is what God revealed to me it is not about the prophetical word it's about what defiles you from the presence of Jesus Christ which is your instructor and the new car the car was the car is white the new car signifies the prophetical word what you are asking God for and be mindful what you ask God for you may need a place to live you may need a husband for those that are unmarried don't ask God for what you want you are praying for a need but don't ask him for your want ask him for what he has for you for what you need not for what you want because sometimes what we want is not in God's context for his needs for us okay and the daily prophetic word for today is pre-ordered blessings crowning some of you are in the last phase the last phase to receive your crown be steadfast stay steadfast because your time is coming for crowning it is very close so you take care be blessed until next time